Hello students, I am Aarti Sharan. Today, I am going to give you the question answers of the Lake Isle of Ministry. In previous videos, I discussed with you the summary and the meaning of the different stanzas. Now, I am giving you the answers to the questions given in the book. So, the Lake Isle of Ministry give, written by W.B. Yeats. The first question is, the first question is, what kind of place is in history? Think about. The answer is, the industry is a beautiful place where nature is in its full swing. The first question is divided into three parts. The first part is, the three things the poet wants to do when he goes back there in stanza one. So you know that. In stanza 1, it is written that he wants to build a small cabin of clay and waters. He wants nine bee rows and a hive for honeybee. So it, is, so it is written here, the poet wants to build a small cabin or hut of clay and wattles. So wattles means twisted sticks. And he will have nine bee rows and a hive for honeybee. Question number second is what he hears and sees there and its effect on him. So here in the second stanza it is written he shall have some peace dropping there then the morning will sound of the cricket he could see the midnight glimmer the purple glow of the noon and the linnet's wings in the in the evening. Here. The answer is, he hears peace come dropping and the crickets sing. He sees the midnight glimmer and the purple glow at noon. He also sees linnets flying together in the sky in the evenings. So, evenings are full of linnets' wings. He feels happy and gets peace of mind. The third question is, what he hears in his heart's core even when he is far away from industry. In the third stanza, it is given that he stands on the roadway or on pavements grey. Still he can, he can hear the sound of the lake lapping against the shore. The answer is, the poet hears the lake water lapping against the shore with low sounds even when he is far away from industry. So he is in the city and still he hears the sound though he stands at the pavement or on the road still he hears the sound of the lake there. Now the second question is by now you may have concluded that Innisfree is a simple natural place full of beauty and peace. How does the poet contrast it with where he now stands? So again the reference is about stanza 3. He is standing on the roadway or on the, whether he stands on the roadway or on the pavement's grey, he can hear the sound of the lake in his free. The answer is, answer number two, the poet compares the natural beauty of in his free with the roads and pavements in the city. The pavement is of great color which symbolizes decay and death. On the other hand, he depicts in his free in gorgeous dreamy light using words like purple glow, glimmer and in vibrant sounds like crickets, song and buzzing of the bees. Now the third question is do you think industry is only a place or a state of mind? Does the poet actually miss the place of his boyhood days? The answer is, 
although in its free is the poet's boyhood haunt it also represents his state of mind it is a real place that gives solace to the frustrated souls the poet longs is desperate to live at such a beautiful and peaceful place and the second question is whether he miss that place yes the poet actually misses the place of his boyhood days even when he is away from industry he recalls the sound of the lake water lapping against the shore so i have completed the question answers of uh, the first part and in the second part i'll give you in the next video thank you